All right, math legends, let's see if you can solve this math problem first before I do. And you know the drill. If you got the answer or you want to explain to me how you got the answer or you're just saying, hey, look, you did this wrong. I think you should have done it this way or that way, etc. Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, please subscribe to the channel to support and also to get more challenging problems like this one. We have 6 minus 4 divided by 2 divided by five. All right, so to, to start solving this problem, I, I'm thinking of pandas because I'm subtracting and I'm dividing. And according to pandas, you read from left to right within its levels. And so six minus four would not go first because division is a higher level than subtraction. So four divided by two goes first. And you don't do two divided by five first because you read from left to right, not right to left. So Let's start with 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And I'll write it like this. And I want to write it as a fraction to make the math easy. And then bring down the um, minus symbol down, the 6 down. And I want to write the 6 and write into a fraction, 6 over 1, because we know 6 over 1 equals 6, does not change the 6. Same with the 2. 2 over 1 equals 2, does not change the 2. And now we have to bring down the division, symbol down, and the 5 down, right? And turn that 5 into a fraction as well. And now we have this. Next, again, you read from left to right. We know subtraction will not go first. It will go. It will be division will go first. So we're going to use that keep change flip method. So we're going to keep 2 over 1, right? We're going to change division, symbol to multiplication, and we're going to flip this fraction. So the 1 will go on top of the fraction and the 5 will go at the bottom of the fraction. So it'll be written like this. 2 over 1 times 1 over 5. So 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 5 is 5. And this cannot be simplified further. So we keep it 2 over 5. And now we're going to subtract 6 over 1 minus 2 over 5. And I want to write this in a vertical form. So I'll write it like this. 6 over 1 and 2 over 5 minus because we are subtracting. Now, um, we have two fractions. We're subtracting, but we cannot subtract because the denominators are different. They need to be the same in order for us to subtract. So how can, that's the big question. How can we make both of these denominators the same? Well, we need to find the lowest common multiple or yes, lowest common multiple of these denominators. First, we need to list the first four multiples of this one and the four multiples of the second denominator. So let me just do that here. So the multiples of one is one, two, and I like to stop at four. That's why I said let's list the four multiples, three and four, and then let's look for the multiples of five. So we got five, 10, 15, and 20. So this is where the fun part comes in. Um, then you, you want to look at both lists, right, of multiples. And you want to find the smallest number that appears on both lists. And I see, oops, I don't see nothing. So we got to keep going, right? Let's, let's do that. Let's add another five multiples, six, seven. Actually, Look at that. We found something. We got five and five. So that's what I mean. You want to look for the smallest number that appears on both lists. So five and five appears on both lists. Now, if if you don't see it, then like I, like I said earlier, just keep listing multiples till you find the smallest number that appears on both lists. But I was... I just stopped there because I found it. Five and five, they both appear on both lists. So that will be your least common multiple. 
And now we can write our equivalent fractions, which makes the denominators the same, so it's five. So our new denominators will be fives or five. Now, we, we need to convert the original fractions into equivalent fractions, we, we did, right? Well, these are the equivalent fractions with the uh, lowest common multiple. And then we multiply the original denominator by a number that will equal the lowest common multiple. So what gives me five? What Five times what gives me five? One. So five times one equals five. And then what you do here, you do the same on top, or in other words, the numerator. So two times one is two, right? So what you do down here, you do on the top, and then same thing here, What one times what gives you five? Five. So what you do down in the denominator area, you do on the numerator area. So. 6 times 5 is 30, and so 30 minus 2 is what? 28, right? So you have 28 over 5, and this is a improper fraction, so let's get a mixed number, and we can, uh, we can actually get a, a decimal answer as well. So I'm, I ran out of space here. Let's, let's use this space here. So 28 will be the dividend, and the 5 will be the divisor. So how many 5s can fit into 28? Well, 5 times 5 is 25, right? So you can fit 5 of them, and then you multiply 5 times 5, which is 25. And then 28 minus 25 is 3. So your whole number is 5, 3, your remainder is your top number of the fraction, and then five, your denominator. So your answer is five, three over five, and we can continue um, for our decimal answer. So how many times, how many fives can fit into three? You cannot, so we need to borrow. So I'm gonna add a decimal after the 28 and the five, and the three needs to borrow zero, so the zero comes down. So now three becomes 30. So how many fives can fit into 30? Think about it, six. And six times five is 30. So your decimal answer, and I ran out of space, is 5.6, and I'll write it here, 5.6. And there you go.